So these are my new socks I've had for Christmas. The Gerbing heated socks. So this is what you get. Comes with the cables to run into the controller. They run off 12 volt. So this is what we get. So these are the heated socks themselves. That's the two socks. And then you get these little socks. They've got these little ankle sport socks. So the idea is you don't wash these socks. The idea is to put these socks on first and then you put the heated socks on top and then you take these off and these are the socks that get washed. So on the socks, let's have a look. So this is the front. This is the part that runs up the shin. There's the connector. That's where you put the wiring loom into. That's the front of the foot. That's the bottom of the foot. And there's the heel. Now they are like normal socks, quite stretchy. You can see there, that's the cable running all the way down the sock. So let me see if we can feel. You can barely feel that wiring. So that's quite a good part coming down the shin. Right, coming into the foot part of the sock. So it's quite stretchy here at the sides, like a normal sock. But this part here over the foot, there's like a layer inside. And that's the heating element. So the heating element is the heel, comes from there, from the back of the heel, over the heel, all the way underneath the foot, round the toes, over the front of the foot, up to probably where the ankle is. So that bit's quite, that's quite a stiffer compound there. So this part of the sock does stretch quite easy. This part of the sock doesn't stretch too much because of the heating element. So you need to make sure you order the right size. So I'm normally in between a nine and a 10. So I ordered the eight to 11, which are the large. So this is the large size, eight to 11. Now I know there's other heated manufacturers what make heated insoles, but this is a, a natural heated sock. So it goes from the top of the foot all the way around the toes, underneath the foot and the heel. And it stops, yeah, it stops just about probably where the ankle, where the ankle is. That's the part we're wiring into the bike. So that's the front part. So they're quite long socks. And on me, above the ankle, this bit is just below the knee, the top of the sock. So I just want to check the connector there, the wiring in it, that my knee pad in my jeans I don't knock the cabling out. So they wire into your normal controller in your heated jacket. What Gerbing have also got now is now the dual controller. So let's have a look at how this one would work. So there we go. Let's have a look. So the red one, right, that's the part that goes to the bike, what's wired into your battery. That's where your wiring loom for your gloves go. So you can run your gloves off it separate because the gloves have their own controller. The gloves are not controlled by this controller. And then from the troll controller, we've got our two connectors. So you'd have one for the jacket and this one you'd plug the socks into. And at least that way then you can independently control the jacket heat and the sock heat. At the moment with the current single controller, you can still run the socks into it because it's got an auxiliary lead, but there's only one control system. So whatever setting you put the jacket on, the socks would be on that same setting. So if you had it on hot, the socks would be on hot. You can't control them independently. But this is the new dual controller from Gerbing. So what I'll do, if I get one of these inner socks on, let me get one of these on, and then we'll put the sock on. 
so there we go that's the inner sock I suppose any sock can be used and there we go so really my knee there's my knee and there's the controllers they're quite long socks so you've got the heating heating starts about here so it's all the way down around the foot and it's finishing about there just the back of the heel so i'm not going to go out on the bike yet i'm waiting for goose because he's had a pair so we're going to go out together to try them but what i'm going to do now i'm actually going to put these on put my bike boots on and I'm going to go up to the shed and plug myself into the bike just so I can see how warm they get right so I've got my boots on I've got my jeans on I've got the socks on if we pull up there's my socks plugged in with the wire running up my jeans one thing you probably want to do is leave enough slack in the cable because obviously you're going to be bending your leg on the bike so this is the wire coming at the top of my jeans here's my dual controller so I'm going to plug into either one so I'm going into this one right let's plug it into the bike so so far that's on setting number one so I can feel that getting warm already. That's quite warm. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Let's try five. So that'll take a few seconds to warm up. Right, I can feel it now on the bottom of my foot. I can feel it across the top of my toes. Yeah, that's getting quite hot now. So five is quite hot. One thing I did notice, my winter boots are quite tight. And I noticed if I pulled the socks on tight and then put my boot, my foot in the boot, I couldn't really move my toes much. So I put the sock on, I suppose it was just a little bit hanging over the toes, so it was a bit loose. So when I put my boot on, it pulls the sock tighter. Right, I'm just gonna start the engine. Yeah, now with the engine running, they're getting a lot hotter, a lot quicker. So number five is probably a bit too hot. We'll try it on three. I can feel the wire there. So you just need to make sure you have got enough slack to bend your leg. The connector there, in the knee, is quite a tight fit, the connector is. So I don't think that is gonna come loose. I've gotta say, I'm impressed, I know what they get. I can feel the, my heel, underneath my foot top, my toes are getting hot, the top of my foot here is getting hot. So the next thing to do now, is actually try them on the road. But so far, I'm impressed with that. Right then. So here we are. New Year's Eve. And we're going to try out these heated socks. So, what I've done, if you can see, I've put a little Velcro. Velcro. I've put my heat controller there on the tank so at least I can keep an eye on it at the moment it's on setting 1 so today is 10 degrees so it's not a cold day but I always suffer from cold feet and what I've done let me just switch these on I've put my RST 
race boots on and they are perforated at the front so it normally lets in cold air so it's probably going to defeat the object of the heated gloves right setting one let's leave it on that it's going to get some fuel we're going to meet victor today motorway we're going for a bit of new year's eve coffee and breakfast at the bike cafe in bridge north so let's get some fuel and then we'll turn these socks up and see what they're like right so the socks are on number one setting i can feel it only very slight warmth so it's not too hot so what we're going to do now i'm going to put them on to setting number two see if there's a big difference i can feel Okay, that's number two. So I can feel them getting warm already. Yeah, so setting number two is keeping my feet nice and warm. I can feel it on the top, I can feel it around my toes, I can feel it underneath my feet. So setting two. 10 degrees is quite fine. Right, should we try it on setting three? There we go, we're on number three. Oh, I can feel that already. So there's a big difference from setting two to setting three. Setting two was comfortable. Setting three, there's a a big diff, a big change in the heat, and I expect these socks to work the same as the gloves. I don't think they're going to make your feet mega hot. I think it's meant to just keep your feet comfortable, just so they don't get cold. That setting three is. That is nice and warm, that is, that is comfortable. I can feel them getting nice and warm, not hot, warm, but it is a comfortable temperature. Right, I think I might try number four. Okay, we're on number four. Oh, wow. Oh, that's amazing, that is number four. That is proper warm. Oh, I can feel it right underneath, around the toes. I don't think I could keep that for too long. Yeah, you could, I don't think I could have number four for too long. I imagine your feet would get quite hot, but that is. I'd say that is now verging on the the border of hot my feet are getting hot and it's always my toes always my feet I'll get it in I'm only quite fine with my legs I mean I've only got my bike jeans on today I'm fine with my body it's always always my feet I suffer the cold with and those are amazing right we're going to do this next stretch of road here and I'm going to well, I'm getting quite hot actually. I'm going to put it up to five. Let's see how much I can take with setting. F I mean, setting five and four might be ideal in zero degrees. I mean, we're on ten degrees today, so it's not that cold. Right? Okay, let's go. Yeah, we're on number five. Yep, that's getting, that's getting, that's getting hot. Yeah, I can feel it underneath, actually, no. Turn it down, it's too hot. It's too hot, too hot, too hot. My feet are burning. What, we're going to keep it on three. I was comfortable with three, right, five is too hot. That was literally 
seconds I lasted with five. And where I was noticing it more was underneath my feet. So I suppose where my boots are pressing down on my pegs, I'm obviously pressing against the heated sock, and that was that was too hot. Just for that quick ten second blast, number five was too hot. So I'm on number three now. Now that surprised me with these socks, because I know the idea with the gloves. I would have thought the socks were the same way. They might, the, the retention is to keep you comfortable. Now putting the gloves on stationary, you feel the heat when you put your hands into the gloves. But obviously riding against the wind, it's naturally going to cool down the outside of the glove, which is going to cool down the glove a bit. And I would have thought the socks would have been the same. Especially with my race boots, because they're perforated. So that the air circulates in them. But them socks, they are amazing. The gloves are brilliant, I love the gloves. The thing what blew me away the most was the Gerbing heated jacket. That was unreal, that was. How hot that got. And to be honest, I wasn't... I wasn't expecting too much from the socks. I would expect them just for them to take the chin off of it to make it a bit more bearable. But those socks are. They're like the jacket. I am absolutely amazed by them. That blew me away. They are really good, the socks are. The Gerbing 12 volt heated socks. The one thing I must remember to do, I've not put my heated jacket on today, but now I've got the jacket, the gloves, and the socks, I need to put the bigger fuse in the wiring loom. To be honest with you, I think I could go down to number two on them. I mean, now my foot's got used to it. My feet. My foot's my feet. Now my feet have got used to it. They are getting quite warm. And I can feel it more underneath my foot when I'm pressing against the foot peg. Where well, normally by now, I'm a couple of miles in. I would normally start to just feel just the bitterness on the end of my toes to start just like a little niggle at the back of your mind that your feet are getting cold well I've got to say Gerbing I was impressed with the gloves when I first got the gloves I was blown away with a jacket when you sit with the jacket are these socks again I've now just gone to the next level I've come actually yeah I'm finding number three now is more than enough. So I'm now going to go down to two. That's it, yeah, I'm on two. So, just been out for the day with Vic. We've been round Bridge North. It's now getting dark. It's time to head home. And I've left the heated socks off while we've gone round Bridge North and my feet are bloody cold now with these perforated boots on so I've just pulled over I've plugged them back in I've left them on setting number two setting number two for me seems just right and I could feel straight away there we go, setting two they're doing just the job. Oh. Cold feet. Do not make a difference. When some feet start warming up. Kind of makes the rest of you feel warm. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's kicking in just nice now. They are feeling lovely and toasty. Right, it's starting to get dark. New Year's Eve. Would I recommend these heated socks? 100% yes. They were £99 on the Gerbing website. If you go on the Gerbing website, I think there's a 10% discount voucher appeared on there. So you can get 10% off them. I thought I was a bit mad asking for electric socks for £99. 
all I can say is you want to be in my boots because it feels lovely if I want to get that heated quick just to bring the temperature up fast number three is ideal it gets warm quite quick number four would be ideal I'd imagine on a proper freezing cold day number five number five is just ridiculously hot I think that would be good is if if your feet were frozen it would thaw them out just feels so nice feels so nice riding and I can feel warmth in my boots and my toes feels like I've got my feet in front of the fire as I said before I was impressed with the gloves I was impressed with the jacket but for me my coldest extremity of my body is my feet and so to have found heated socks it really has made a huge difference I'm quite happy here. I've got this uh, the controller set there on the tank when it was in my pocket I kind of have to stop the bike to change the setting so I'm quite happy with that there and plus it's easier just to unplug from the bike with the connector being in front of me instead of it being somewhere behind the back of my leg which I've done it before I've got on the bike and I've accidentally I've disconnected myself I've disconnected myself as I've got on the bike so that's my thoughts on the Gerbing heated socks I recommend them if you suffer from cold feet they are a must and it's not just the bottoms of the feet what it's heating it goes round the toes and all on the top of your foot so the whole of the foot is being kept warm I love them I'm very impressed with them and I would highly recommend them so from 2021 Happy New Year. Next week we are camping in winter, winter camping. So I think the heated socks will definitely be required then for the ride to the campsite. So from now till then, I'll see you in 2022.